Seven days have now ended. As well as the six working days since the arrival of the new moon of the fifth biblical month. Six thousand and seven, and this evening I have taken up my position to declare to the world that Yahuwah's set apart creation Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon of the fifth biblical lunar month Ab has arrived and as you can see the first quarter of the moon is above me bearing witness that Yahuwah's creation Sabbath is here. I am here to join world's last chance and all the other servants of Elohim who are 
making it known to the world that Yahuwah's creation Sabbath is neither Saturday nor Sunday. I am here to declare that it was Constantine of Rome who removed and divorced Yahuwah's creation Sabbath from the phases of the moon. Psalms 81 declares that we should sing unto Yahuwah our strength and make a joyful shout to the Elohim of Jacob. We are told to blow the shofar in the new moon. At the time appointed, the day of the solemn feast, Blow the shofar in the, at the new moon and the full moon and the appointed feast. For this is a statue to Israel and the law to the Elohim, to the father of Jacob. This evening I want to give Yahuwah thanks and praise for making his words known to us in these last days in the final days of earth's history and I'm going to turn the pages for us so that we can see from the word of Elohim that Yahuwah has given us the moon as his time clock. from the full day of creation. Even before man was created. And I'm going to read for us Genesis 1 verses 14 through 19. And Yahuwah said, let there be light in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve for signs to mark the feast days for days and for years and let them be light in the expanse of the sky to give light unto the earth and it was so and Yahuwah made two great lights the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the, the day Yahuwah made let me read again and let them be light in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth and it was so and Yahuwah made two great lights the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the day and the lesser light 
to govern the night. He also made the stars. And Yahuwah set them in the expanse of the sky to give light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And Yahuwah And Yahuwah saw that it was right. So the evening and then the morning were the foot were the foot day. Yes, Yahuwah made the moon and the sun and the stars, and he made the moon as his time clock from the foot day of creation so i am here this evening to let it be known that the sabbath of yahuwah has arrived genesis 2 verses 1 to 3 says thus the heaven and the earth were finished and all the host of them and on the seventh day, Yahuwah ended his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his works, which he had made. Then Yahuwah blessed the seventh day and set it apart to be holy because in it he has rested from all the work which Yahuwah created, which Yahuwah created and made. Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3. Yes, yes, set apart Sabbath is here, and there is the moon bearing witness that Yahuwah Sabbath is now here. As I watch the sky, evening by evening, and I noticed throughout the week that the weather condition had prevented the new moon to be seen. But on the evening of the fifth day, at 5.44 p.m., I saw that moon looking like a silver feather for the first time and hours later at the setting of the sun probably about 8 30 there it was declaring that yahuwah is faithful to his words and he has set the moon as his time clock and he will never fail he will never fail to show us 
when his Sabbath arrive. Yes, we are living in a world where we prefer to obey man rather than to obey the living Elohim. And I am here now to tell us that Yahuwah does not play with sin. I am here to tell us that Yahuwah said plainly that those who disobey his words, especially his Sabbath, should be put to death and should be cut off, cut off from among, from among his people. It is Exodus 31, which states, which states, it says, And Yahuwah spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbaths, You shall keep, for they are a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahuwah who sanctifies you, make you holy. You shall keep the Sabbaths, therefore, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever does any work on that day, that person shall be cut off from among his people for six days work shall be done but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest holy to Yahuwah whosoever does any work on the Sabbath day he shall surely be put to death Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. Israel forever for in six days Yahuwah made the heavens and the earth and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed yes the word of Elohim is clear and if we desire to please Yahuwah, if we desire to reverence him, we can do no less than to keep his Sabbath day holy along with all the other commandments, his statutes, and his feast days. I think I'm going to take a look at 
Deuteronomy quickly because I never have I never have enough time Deuteronomy 11 verse 26 Spirit of Let's see what Deuteronomy 11, 26 says. Break me. Okay. I'm going to probably start. Mm. All right. Let's begin at verse, at verse 17. It says, And Yehovah anger will burn against you. And he will shut up the heavens, so there will be no rain. Hmm. Yahuwah does not tolerate sin. And the land will yield no produce. And, will, and you will quickly perish from the rich land Yahuwah is giving you. Store up these laws in your mind, in your heart, and set and in your soul, and bind them as a sign upon your hand. Probably I'll just read it and not try to show it. Yes. And you shall teach them to your children. And you shall teach them to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house. When you walk in the road, when you lie down, and when you rise up, you shall write them on your door, door frames. You shall write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. So your days and the days of your children may be numerous like the days of the heavens above the earth in the land which Yahuwah vowed on oath to your fathers to give them. If you carefully observe and do all these laws I am giving you, and follow, and follow to love Yehuah, your Elohim, to walk in, his, in all his ways, and to hold fast to him. Then Yehuah will drive out all these nations from in front of you, and you will dispossess nations larger and smaller than you. Every place the sole of your foot tread shall be yours from the wilderness to Lebanon and from the river Euphrates to the western sea, the Mediter Mediterranean. Listen. No man will be able to stand against you. Yahuwah your Elohim 
will put the dread of you and the fear of you upon the whole land just as he had said hmm behold verse 26 that's what, what I meant to read in the first place behold I set in front of you today a blessing and the curse the blessing if you obey the law of Yahuwah your Elohim which I am giving you this day or a curse if you will obey if you will not obey the laws of Yahuwah your Elohim and turn aside from the way I am setting in front of you to follow after God's Elohim Terrifim, you have not known. When Yahuwah your Elohim has brought you into the land, you, you are entering to possess, you shall proclaim those blessings on Mount Giz, Ger, Geriz, Gerizim and these curses on Mount E Ebal these mountains are on either side of Jordan towards the west in the land of the Canaanites who live in Aranba in the vicinity of Gilgad beside the great tree of Moray for you will cross over Jordan and go in to possess the land Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you and you will and you will take and you will take and live in it and you must be careful to observe And do all the statutes and judgment men's of the law which I set before you this day. Yes, Moses had set life and death before Israel. Life if they obey the laws of Yahuwah. And of course, death. And a curse if they reject the laws of Yahuwah. Yes, there is not much time. But I am here to let us know that sin is not handled lightly by Yahuwah. Israel would be blessed today. We would be blessed today. And all the tribulation that we have encountered as, seed, as the seed of Abraham, we would not have if our forefathers had obeyed the laws of Yahuwah. We, as the seed of Abraham, are doing this very thing that our forefathers did. We reject Yahuwah's law and we give a deaf ears and we chose to obey Constantine of Rome rather than keeping Yahuwah's Sabbath, which is determined by the new moon. There is not much time because I see where the time is ticking. But this evening, I am thankful that Yahuwah has now made his Sabbath known to us. Let us remember Yahuwah's Sabbath and let us keep it holy. Let us be reminded that Saturday is not Yahuwah's Sabbath. 
neither does it bear his sign. It is the Sabbath of creation that bears Yah the sign of Yahuwah and that carries his seal. Let us remember Yahweh's Sabbath day to keep it holy. Let us remember that if we are willing and obedient, we will eat the good of the land. But if we refuse and rebel, we will be devoured with the sword because the mouth of Yahuwah, Elohim of hosts, has spoken it. And it's found in Isaiah 1 verses 19 and 20. Israel, Hebrew Israelites, I am imploring you as in particular to remember Yahweh's Sabbath day to keep it holy. So this is Yahweh's Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon. And the moon is overhead right now, bearing witness that this is Yahuwah's Sabbath. Let us obey Yahuwah and keep his Sabbath holy so that we will eat the good of the land. Day of rest by Husha richly blessed. E to us a sign shall be true out all eternity. Yes, it's a Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon, Ab 8, 6007. Have a happy Sabbath. And Yahuwah's Sabbath will be on Tuesdays for four weeks in the month of Ab. Shalom, shalom.